Here we are. Paulie's here. Mark got our signs out here. There's Rick. Okay, guys. Michael's over here. We're here in Ashland. Just arrived. Core here with the Planned Parenthood in Ashland. Here for a couple hours to stand forth with the banners that show what happens in here. Murder. The murdering of children. Um, I've never been to this clinic. Mark has been here twice before. Uh, Michael's first time he's ever done anything like this. But uh, we're out here for the glory of God, for the salvation of souls, and protection of children. And uh, I don't know what kind of interactions we'll have, but whatever the Lord wills will happen today. And uh, I just pray, even as you're watching this video, you pray that the fruit of the seeds planted today, the, the messages declared with signs, with words, pamphlets, um, that God would bring the increase to save babies and everlasting life for His glory. So. That's what we're here to do, and we're going to do it. Praise God. It's kind of sad, the uh, woman who just walked in here behind me, uh, I didn't have my little chest cam on, but she she actually told me I offered her some literature. Not here she goes. She said she was glad I had the camera on, and she is. She supports the murder of babies, and I she's support. she's I happy. Make my donation. I'm so glad you were here today. You reminded me to support Planned Parenthood, which is something I'd love to do. And you support the murder of children, ma'am. And we just beg you to repent of that because we don't want you to burn in hell forever. We want you to have your sins forgiven by Jesus Christ, and he and he forgives murderers, ma'am. You're not playing. You're not playing with fire. Please repent. Please call out to Christ for the salvation only He offers. The boldness of your wickedness doesn't go unnoticed, ma'am. Please repent and trust in Christ. There's salvation available even for those who are murdering and support it. Scripture says Christ's blood can wash away the blood even of the unborn on your hands. Please repent. Sad. That's sad, but that's, that's the heart. That's the hard heart of the wicked. One who, so hard, she's rejoicing. And you heard her. She does this because she loves this place. This place of murder. And she supports it. Uh, like I was saying earlier, she came in here to make a donation. And she was glad we were here to see her do that. That is the, just a short picture of the depths of the wickedness of the hearts of people in this world that hate God, hate His gospel. But you know what? The good news is that I gave her the, the news that Christ can forgive those sins, that His blood can wash away even her worst sins. And if she repents, she can have everlasting life. That's true. And uh, I pray that God would use that that small gospel seed, even in that planet, or maybe it's water from whatever she's heard in her life. Of course, pray that He would bring her to everlasting life. And I, I hope to see her in heaven one day uh, rejoicing with the throne of God with me and other sinners saved by the grace of God. I, I don't ever hold out any doubt that God can save anyone because he saved a wretch like me. But anyway, that's just a good picture of uh, the type of heart of people coming in here to uh, Planned Parenthood. Sad. I'm zooming in because I didn't have the opportunity to break out my camera while she was standing here. That lady right there had a very interesting conversation with her. Um, couldn't bring my camera out, my little uh, pro camera, my little action cam is the cards full, so I wasn't able to record anything with her or anybody else, I don't think, while I've been here. But uh, had a nice conversation with her, but she came up and said she didn't want to see any more abortions. I, I believe she was presenting a, um, a clever liar's tale because she said she wouldn't support us fully until she said, I don't want to see any abortions. I wouldn't do abortions. She wouldn't go so far as to say um, that nobody should, but she wanted to, then she tried to push the birth control argument that do you support accurate birth control and teaching of safe sex um, classes for students? And uh, of course I told her that that's contrary because I told her we're Christians and we're here about uh, what God calls sin and Jesus Christ and he, he died to pay for sin. I was able to get the gospel in there with the law, talking with her towards the end. And uh, as she was ready to walk away, I was trying to ask her, "Do have you had your sins forgiven? Are you 
do you trust him? Have you repented and trusted in Christ for your sins? And of course, she wouldn't answer and she kept walking. Um, but she tried to play a, a, a an interesting role. This uh, I'm I'm kind of with you, but you got to be with me. You got to support some sin. And uh, she wanted to try to equate it with um, alcohol and uh, drinking and students and youth drinking and stuff like that. And um, and it's it's totally different. But it was a pro-choice, um, pro-death argument, just with her personal. Well, I wouldn't do an abortion, and I wouldn't. Uh, do that, but I can't support what you're doing unless you're up for um, teaching safe sex and um, not teaching abstinence only and providing condoms and birth control for kids in school all the way from elementary to high school. And of course I told her, we, Jesus wouldn't have us trade one sin for another. We wouldn't teach our kids to sin in a different way. Um, we got to call them to do what was right and, and obey God no matter what. And. Uh, I got to get into law from that, which was good. And uh, the idea, uh, and, I, and she did admit, when I said, well, we do know, you would admit, the only way to not have a baby is, of course, abstinence. And uh, she did admit to that, so I mean, kind of stuck her on that point. But anyway, it was uh, an interesting conversation. And uh, that's been a couple so far down here. But uh, like I said, the Lord is good, and uh, we're out here still. And, uh, Michael. He was able to run, uh, took some pamphlets down to some ladies who were standing down here. They weren't coming down here. They had come out of a building, I think at this uh, dentistry place and had gone out or were out of another building. And uh, he came down while I was talking to that one lady to try to give them some literature. I don't know if they took it or not, but he was bold to come down and try to get it in their hands. And uh, we've had some positive cars go by, had some negatives, but it's already been a fruitful morning. Gospel seeds have already been planted and uh, people have been called to repent and uh, not to support murder and uh, the Lord is good. Michael talking to this guy who just came across crosswalk. Got a You've Been Lied To pamphlet in his hand. Now he's chatting with him. stuff to drop on the floor and head over there. So apparently he just came back and dropped some paper. We had to turn it on, but uh, no, no issue. He, uh, he let us, uh, just didn't want us blocking anybody from getting in. Of course, that's not what we're doing. We're not trying to block anybody from getting in anywhere. So DVD or literature or anything? DVD? Nothing? Talked to Michael for a while and got some information. And, uh, Lord willing, uh, that pamphlet there, this uh, You've Been Lied To pamphlet, it does have a good gospel presentation in it too, so he'll see the horrors of abortion and get a good gospel presentation as well. So uh, if you didn't get on in that time with Michael before the police showed up and interrupted, well then he reads that pamphlet, which seems like he's doing, he will have one. And, uh, we know that a seed's been planted for God to be glorified and possibly a soul to be saved. So it's been a good morning so far, even though we've had just a few conversations. It's been uh, seeds for the glory of the gospel. Here in Ashland. Just wanted to do a little quick qu clip here to show what we're handing out here. We've got four different uh, companies, ministries, as it were, uh, represented just in my hand here. You've got a, a local ministry at the very front here, the Gospel of John by Living Waters, not Living Waters, uh, Ray Comfort and everything. That's uh, it's Living Water uh, out in Glide, Oregon. I think it's Living Water versus Living Waters. And that's the little Gospels of John I want to get to people. Then uh, from Living Waters, from Ray Comfort, we've got the 180. 
and then we've got from abolishing an abortion you've been lied to and then it's like abort73.com with this uh murder your baby thing so we've got a bunch of bases covered here and uh just wanting to get people the message of uh salvation and the refuting the lies of abortion and the gospel within there as well so that people um, are informed and pray that God would use these as seeds to bring about uh, salvation of babies and souls. So I just thought I'd put there to show a little bit of uh, the diversity of what we've got even just in our one hand that we've got at least uh, four different ministries uh, working here in by handing them out to people to get uh, the message of life and Christ into people's hands. Hopefully to their hearts. Ma'am, so you support the murder of children? Is that what you're saying? This this woman earlier did. She came in. She said because of what we're doing, she wanted to to support Planned Parenthood. Wanted to give a donation. And ma'am, the good news is even in the callousness of your heart, I know I'm not worth your time, and I'm not. I'm a sinner saved by the grace of Jesus Christ, and He's worth your time. And I want you to be saved. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you to die in your sins. I want you to have forgiveness, ma'am. And I know you can hear the gospel. All your sins, all your lies, all your hate, all your thefts, all your lusts, all your greed, everything you've ever done, every wickedness you've ever sown can be forgiven and you can be saved by Jesus Christ if you repent and believe His gospel. Please do so, ma'am. I'd like to see you saved. I'd like to see you in heaven one day for the glory of God. Please repent. Please be saved. We're not out here because we hate. We're not out here because we want people to go to hell. No, people's default position is hell because we've lied, we've stolen, we've hated, we've lusted, we've been greedy, we've been wicked. And our default position is hell, whether we murder babies or whether we just lie once. The book of James tells us that if you've been innocent in every other law, never broken a single one, but you break one law, you're guilty of them all. Have you ever told one lie? You know you have. Have you ever been disobedient to your parents even once? You know you have. Have you ever once stolen something that didn't belong to you? Ever once lusted or hated? You know you have. But if you will repent, if you will humble yourself, admit you're worthy of the wrath of God for your sin that your conscience tells you you're guilty of, if you will now humble yourself, call out to Jesus Christ, I promise you by the precious words of Jesus, He will never cast you out. He will never push you away. He will receive all who come to Him in repentance and faith. Please, you in the white hoodie, you at Shell, you in the cars, you in the trailer park, you in the Planned Parenthood. Folks, salvation is available if you'll repent and believe the saving gospel of Jesus Christ. Do so for the glory of God and for your own eternal good. Please, we don't want you lost. We don't want you condemned. We don't want you going to hell. We want you forgiven, pardoned, and given everlasting life, joy, and peace that passes understanding that's available today. Not in the sweet by and by, but forgiveness, grace, and life available now. Now. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the appointed time. We're not out here in the rain and in the cold because we want to speak a message of condemnation. No, the default position is condemnation. We're here declaring a message of redemption. Redemption by the cross of Jesus Christ. Turn from your sin, repent and believe the gospel, and be saved. God bless you if you think on this and do it.